Hey guys, this is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com and I'm here today with a brand new lens from Lomography. This time they recreated the famous Jupiter 3. They're calling it the Jupiter 3 Plus. And if you're familiar, if you're not familiar with the Jupiter lenses, these were Russian made, sorry, Russian made Leica screw mount lenses, which means um, a lot of people were taking them and mounting them to their M, Leica M's, using a screw mount to M adapter, which comes with the Jupiter. So as it is, this Lomography, which they're calling their art lens series, this is the Jupiter 3 Plus. It looks amazingly like the original Jupiter 3. I had a Jupiter 3 for a couple years or longer and just sold it recently because I knew I was going to be getting this. And Stephen Gandhi at Camera Quest just sent this over to me. Um, I received it today, and you got your you have your bottom lens cap, your metal front lens cap, and it feels solid just like a Leica M lens does. This actually feels way more solid than my old Jupiter. And basically, you could put the screw mount adapter on, and then you're ready to mount it to anything that will take an M mount lens. Um, it's a beautiful lens in construction. It's going to give you that same beautiful glow and bouquet of the original, but it should be sharper. This guy should be sharper. And manufactured in Russia. So basically, and it says new Jupiter 3 Plus. It's a 50 millimeter F1.5, but it's beautiful actually. I'm gonna put it on a camera Here it is on the Sony a7R2, which is what most people are using besides their Leica M's to mount M glass to. There's so many a7 series users out there. And with the a7R2 and the a7 II, these cameras are gorgeous and they work amazingly well with this lens. I'm going to be doing a review of this lens in the next week or so, maybe in a few days. Um, another lens I wanted to show you. Before I get to that though, let me show you the box for the Jupiter 3. I think this comes in at around 650. Um, they give you a beautiful box. I took the lens out of here, but you have a manual and book here, which I have not even taken out yet. Wow. So what Lomography usually likes to do is give a booklet with their art lenses to show you images taken with the lens, talking about the lens, five reasons why the Nifty 50 will change your life. So this alone is a really cool book. Uh, the new Jupiter 3 Plus. What's the plus? First developed in Soviet Russia in the late 40s. The original Jupiter lens was crafted by the optical pioneers at the Zenit factory in the suburbs of Moscow. It was a direct copy of the Zeiss sonar and came to be loved for the incredible character it gave to the images it captured. So that's pretty cool. Production was halted in 1988. Finding them have become more difficult as time goes on and even the ones that are still in circulation often, often have been mistreated beyond repair or need adjustments to work properly. So this basically, you can say, well, I'm not going to have any problems. It's a new manufacturer. Uses the same excellent compact design and classic feel of the original. We recalculated the technical specifications of the original Jupiter 3 to make this extremely special lens far more accessible for today's photographers. Wow. Crisp sharpness, natural smooth colors, and lush dreamy bouquet while transcending its forebear in many ways. So this is awesome. So Stephen Gandy sent me this to review, but I'm going to actually pay him for this and buy it because it's just, I took a couple test snaps already and it looks great. The color to me looks richer than the old Jupiter. So that's the Jupiter 3 Plus from Lomography. Look for my review at stevehuffphoto.com very soon. Um, like I said, this is the box. 
It came with the adapter, the lens, a cleaning cloth, uh, the book, and a nice little box right there. Another lens I want to show you guys, which is very interesting, very unique, is this guy. This is a Leica Sumerit 40 millimeter f2.4. And that lens came out of an old Mini Lux film camera. And I'm going to put a URL below of where you can buy this. It's basically they're selling it as an adapter to convert anyone who has a Mini Lux, that old Mini Lux point and shoot film camera, you can take that lens out and put it in this adapter and it will be compatible with M mount glass or M mount cameras or like I said the Sony and there I go almost dropping it so the link is at the bottom of the screen if you want information on this guy but it's really cool I put it on the Sony and a Leica and it looks beautiful um, a little little vignetting vignetting vi can I not speak today <laughs> a little bit vignetting going on but it's sharp creamy dreamy and it looks great feels great you have a focus tab and this is basically a converted uh, mini Lux lens into an M lens housing pretty crazy uh, but look at the URL below for information on that I'm gonna go out today and shoot with this Jupiter I also have uh, a Leica T here that Leica sent because they want me to check it out due to the new big firmware they released for it. So I'm interested and in, in looking forward to doing that next week. But CameraQuest is where you can get, CameraQuest.com is where you can take a look at or order the Jupiter. Limited quantities according to them. So there you have it. Jupiter 3 Plus, StefaPhoto.com. Bye.